i hope you are following my video series and uh, you are getting lot of valuable information out of that this is the part number 3 of the video series when to start learning cad development if you haven't watched the first two videos then please go and watch those in this video we are going to talk about how you can learn this skill set as a experienced design engineer so let's start as a experienced design engineer i am assuming that you are either two plus years of experience in design engineering at least one plus years of experience in design engineering your total experience might be little higher than that but at least you have one to two years of experience in a design engineer role now how you can start learning if you are a solidworks autocad inventor solid edge design engineer then these all cad a uh, cad automation or cad apis are actually fall under same category when you are automating either solidworks inventor autocad or solid edge that time most probably you are either uh, using a c sharp or visual basic net as a programming language and then you can start with any of the cad apis out of these four cad softwares you can start with any one of the cad apis program or a uh, cad api learning and then gradually all of those are actually the similar type of cad software for automation once you gain experience you will be uh, you will be able to automate any of these four but that will take some time but that is a different category i would say uh, but those four, four are actually can be clubbed to, together that is one thing now coming to our topic so while choosing a cad software for automation the very first and simple trick to select this is that you choose whichever software whichever cad software you use in your job you use the same software for learning automation if it is katia you start with katia if it is nx then you start with nx open if it is creo then you start with creo toolkit if you know more than one programming language then you find out which one you are more comfortable with or which cad software you have used most and you, then you can start with that here again you uh, do not need to look at the potential point of view look from the potential point of view everything is potential every cad automation uh, skill set is potential provided you are good at that okay but priority wise or uh, opportunity wise i would say uh, nx open katia caa and creo toolkit has good enough good amount of opportunities uh, there as compared to solidworks autocad inventor and solidage so these are the two categories that you can uh, take note of okay once that is uh, done once you choose the cad software for you then you get into learning the programming as well as the cad apis you can either learn it yourself but i won't recommend you do that because it won't be that much useful it is ultimately lot of time you will spend to learn the small amount of uh, skill set a small amount of learning that may not be matching with the expectation of an interviewer so do not go with self learning you enroll to a program a wise program which is also providing a good quality learning and good hands on so you enroll to that program spend 3 to 6 months in that program and as i said earlier you have to gain, you have to also gain enough uh, 
hands on in a practice on to writing the programs when it comes to choosing the programming language combination then uh, uh, then you you shall see that which cad uh, or which cad software is more popular with which programming language if you ask for my opinion katia is popular with c as well as c sharp or visual basic dot nx open is also popular with c and c sharp visual basic dot net then trio toolkit is popular mainly with c or c++ so this is the combination which is more popular as per my opinion now once you have gone through this program then you have to spend some time to develop a program that you can use in your job as a design engineer definitely you will get lot of lot of uh, ideas that you can implement for that uh, for the ideas for which you can create the program and you at least yourself can utilize can use those programs that you have made that will definitely help you gain a confidence in yourself using this this skill set and ultimately this all this entire confidence is going to help you to get into the design uh, automation care development so so this is a straight forward path for you being the design engineer you only need to focus on one cad software automation not couple of them you just focus on one get good at that learn to the uh, learn to the mark where you can get hired by a company and you are done and then later on you can choose uh, to include other programming language other cad software apis that is you can choose based on the situation the scenario that you are into but this is the something a clear cut step by step three step formula that can help you get into the job i guess you have got the clarity about this and we are now closing the three part series of this this topic uh, this is very straight forward less confusion more actionable uh, road map uh, you have got and uh, i i hope that this is definitely going to help you and thank you for uh, watching my my video till the end uh, good luck to all of you